The United States of America is built on stolen land. Between 1776 and 1887, at least one and a half billion acres was taken from indigenous nations by executive order, force, and treaties signed under coercion and distress. Previously to 1776, Christian European settlers claimed the land and attempted slavery and genocide of the people by the authority of the doctrine of discovery. This series of papal decrees justified explorers' claims on the land and waterways that they allegedly discovered. It promoted Christian domination and superiority, and it's been applied in Africa, Asia, Australia, New Zealand, and the Americas. The doctrine of discovery governs the United States Indian law today and has been cited as recently as 2005 in the decision City of Sherrill versus Oneida Indian Nation of New York. Maine was carved from the territory of the Wabanaki, the people of the Dawnland, who have lived in relationship with the lands and waters, flora and fauna, for time out of mind. The Wabanaki survived colonial bounty hunters and massacres, loss of access to land and water for sustenance to U European settlers, family separations and paternalistic control by the state of Maine, not to mention ongoing pollution and degradation of water and soil. The Indian Land Claims Settlement Act of 1980 denied the sovereignty of Wabanaki tribes by making them subject to state laws and legislation, rather than recognizing their rights as nations, having a direct relationship with the U.S. government. Since 1980, 151 federal laws benefiting Indian country have been passed that the tribes of Maine have not benefited from. Last year, a bipartisan task force recommended changes to the act to avoid and help settle future disputes between the state and tribes, to remove some of the barriers preventing the tribes from purchasing land, and to restore tribes' inherent rights. Those include the, the tribes' rights to regulate hunting, fishing, natural resources, and land use on tribal lands, as allowed by federal law. We have an opportunity to begin on the path of righting a wrong by supporting LD 1626, an act implementing the recommendations of the task force on changes to the Maine Indian Claims Settlement Implementing Act. We recognize Wabanaki sovereign rights as nations to political and cultural institutions, lands, and resources. LD 1626 will be coming up before the legislature soon, and we need to do what is asked of us by Wabanaki leaders to support and advocate for this bill. We stand on stolen land.